So in this one, I want to introduce just uh, one of the unique boundary conditions that comes from a concentration condition. So before when we're working with temperature, uh, one boundary condition was always specifying a temperature or having temperature continuity across the boundary. Two things in thermal equilibrium have temperature in one part of the boundary must be equaling temperature in part two of the boundary. With mass, this is where the key difference is. Um, here, suppose you have um, a, a membrane or a barrier, for instance, like, like this, and then you have a concentration in the bulk on this side and a concentration in the bulk on this side, um, and that's just a constant concentration that comes in to the vicinity and a constant concentration on the way out. So what is the concentration at the actual boundary inside of your membrane? Um, it could, the one that you're familiar with would just be um, concentration equality. Sure, that is possible. This corresponds with what's known as the partition coefficient um, equal to a value of 1. Um, but there's other values. If the partition coefficient for your material is greater than 1, which means that the material can hold more of the mass than the, than the solution, then the overall steady state profile for the concentration distribution between those two points would look like this, whereas if uh, the, the phi were to be less than 1, that is the material can hold less than what's in the other um, side, I have to make this uh, line completely parallel with the others for it to be consistent. Um, it would have a distribution like this. This corresponds with phi uh, less than 1. So let's, let's solve one problem where we take this into account. And then we're going to solve one more interesting problem beyond that. Um, and this first one is just for, uh, let's solve for the steady state. Um, in a material with partition coefficient uh, phi, uh, steady state in this material for any uh, phi. So i start with our equation. We're going to have no reactions in this. We're going to start with our full differential equation, okay, assuming a constant diffusion coefficient, okay, it was like this, and then we're going to have at x equals zero, the boundary condition the, the, at this point right here, um, the C in the membrane, I'm just going to call it C, shorthand C, is going to be equal to um, some partition coefficient times the concentration on the outside. And then at X equals L, so this goes from 0 to length L, we're going to have um, C equals uh, phi with a partition coefficient for that material times CL. So at steady state, first thing we can do is that cross that out. And then what this gives us is 0 equals D. And now we can work with total derivatives because concentration is a function of only position x. Um, get this simpler um, second order differential equation with these boundary conditions. So how do you solve this? Um, the same way we've solved it for Fourier's problems. You separate out the first derivative. Let me uh, explicitly show that so that it's very clear. 0 equals d, d by dx of dc dx. Luckily, you, you know, d disappears entirely. You divide through by d. So you have the integral of 0 dx for the first integral equals integral of d of dc dx. Um, okay, which then when you integrate it gives um, just this, the integral of 0. Uh, c1 equals d dc dx. Okay, so then you have to do it again. You see, you separate it again. You have, um, I had one too many d's there. Okay, equals uh, dc dx. So you integrate it again. You have the integral of c1 dx. I'm leaving indefinite for now just because we're going to apply the boundary conditions. Equals the integral of dc, which gives you the final concentration of c1 times x plus some integration constant c2. And the way that you, you, you solve for those is by substituting in the boundary conditions. So at x equals 0, we uh, first apply this. gives us C2 equals phi times C, what would we call it? 
even here. C0, okay, that's the concentration on the outside. So then our new equation is going to be C1 times x plus V times C0. Wait a minute, we don't know what C1 is yet. That's still um, the integration constant. We haven't solved for it yet. Here we substitute in at C uh, at position L is going to be equal to phi times C, do we call it CL? CL, okay, so phi times CL. So now we have CL times phi is going to be equal to C1 times L plus phi C0, which means that C1 is going to be equal to uh, phi times uh, CL minus uh, C0 all divided by L. So now that our final equation um, is going to be uh, C as a function of position X, is equal to phi times C L minus C zero, uh, all divided by L times X plus uh, phi C zero. Um, and that is the, the solution for the steady state distribution of uh, the concentration in that membrane.